Hi, this is Rod McTube. We're playing Hunter Call of Wild on PC today. We're on Quattro Kalinius and we're going to try and get a 400 meter plus shot with the Martinson 6.5 gun. Just to show you how good it is at distance. So we've got a nice little spot. I'm going to jump on my ATV and I'll meet you there in a minute. And we're just going to claim this Outlook post first. Click that, see where the next lodge is. Outpost. I think it's where that path is down there, but I'm just looking around at the scenery. We'll see it better once we go upstairs. Up the spiral staircase to the top. Um, I think if we put a tent on the edge of that rock face overlooking the lake, we should easily get 400 meter plus. Whether we make the shot or not is a different matter. We're going to be using poly tips. Um, so hopefully, like I say, there's an animal there and we can see it and we can get a 400 meter um, shot. Or anything above that is a challenging steam as well for call of wild to get over a 400 meter shot so you definitely will be able to do it here this is what we're going to go to next the outpost and then we're going to go around the map and see if we can find any of the other species like the other ibex we've got greedos ibex we've got the ronda ibex we've got the southeastern ibex we've got the iberian wolves um what else haven't we seen yet was uh, red deer obviously we've seen them as before but we haven't had any on Quattro Kalinus yet so it'll be interesting to see where they are we are starting to open up some of the map just checking around here first and then we're going to put a tent ideally what I would do with tents is carry them at all times ATVs are really good for opening maps up and then when you get quite far into um, moving around the map put a tent down because sometimes you might come off a quad and go flying kill yourself and it could be like a 10 20 minute walk to get back to where you were so it's always good to uh, have a tent on you I always do it uh, always make sure I've got one on me and when I put a tent down I make sure I put one straight back as well because uh, nothing worse than getting really far out somewhere and then finding out you haven't got a tent where you want to put it down then you die and then you absolutely rage <laughs> you probably all done it before but I try and religiously make sure I've got a tent in my backpack to put down now here's a rock face you get an absolute brilliant view just making sure I've got my tent. <laughs> That'd have been good, wouldn't it? Talking all this uh, BS about tents and how I always carry them and then not having one. That would have been uh, made me look a right wally. But uh, we'll go to the look at the perfect view here. Um, this flat view, straight off these rocks. We'll put a tent here. It's pretty flat ground, and then look over the edge. Be interesting what we can see. But look at the clouds. It's beautiful. Really does look nice. But if you put a tent up here, you should be able to spawn in and hopefully all the Ibex are down this area. And because I'm doing it now, they're not. <laughs> Sod's low. I'm just going to look around the lake anyway because look, we look we're, when we look down there, it is about 350 to 400. So we just need to see our first contender. And that's running straight onto where we need to be. Now... Will he pop at 400 meters? Now, if you wonder what I'm on about, there's a draw distance. It's normally up to about 500 meters. So it'll be interesting what sort of range you can get from this position. You're definitely going to be able to get over 400 meters. You can see now it's near, nigh on 400 meters. And uh, we're not even breaking the sweat because we're quite high up. And the ground is quite flat. Uh, there's not much shrubbery in the way. So you should be able to pull off some really good long shots here. I'm going to wait till it's a little over because there's always a little... Uh, margin of error where it might not be like 400 it might be five meters shorter so always make sure it's at least about five meters over and you should be good if you mark it accurate here goes our first shot over 400 meters wish me luck we definitely hit that we definitely hit that that was just by eye is it gonna go down yeah <laughs> Not bad for our first shot, over 400 meters with a Martinson 6.5. So happy about that. I didn't want to mess that up. I wanted to do it first time and we did it first time. So happy about that. So as you can see, uh, 6.5 Martinson, 400 meters plus. Yes, it can do it. It can, it can kill animals at it, fine. Just gonna pick up another tent. Uh, we'll spawn another ATV and then we've got to go and collect our Beside the Ibex. 400 meters plus hopefully 
I hope you don't shortchange me just under 400 because that will pee me off. <laughs> we have got a spare tent. Alright, we need that, don't we? Let's not forget that because we need to get down it. So here's the blood. Now, where is that ibex? Like I say, make sure you mark where your animals are when you take long range shots on this reserve. It's quite hard to find them. As I was saying before, it'd be nice if you could have a little square or something you could bring up in the game and then just put um, where exactly you, you shot it. Uh, 402 metres. So for goat species, the 6.5 Matterson really is a good gun. Uh, it's great fun to use. I like the sound of it, so I'm glad they've added it. What will be interesting to see is what it's like on things like wolves. Um, I think wolves might be a challenge for it at distance. Short range, maybe 150 meters uh, below that. I don't know about that. I think it'll be fine. But you know, like really long range, 300 meters plus on things like wolves and that, it might struggle. We will try that out soon when we go hunting for wolves. I want to try and do that the next episode if I can. Right, so we've come to the top of the quarry. And I can see a lot more mouflon sheep. I'm just looking to see if there's any big ones or any rare ones. I'd love to know if there is rare variations. I bet there is. But obviously, they're all rare for a reason. They're all dancing around on top of this uh, quarry top. Where this lookout point is, what we're going to do is I'm going to put another tent here. Like I was suggesting before, always carry a tent if you can when you're exploring and opening up the map. And you can just drop it down if you find a good spot. That's what often happens. You'll, you come across an area you didn't think about. Or maybe uh, you've not explored that area. And then uh, you find loads of animals. And you think, oh, this would be a great spot. And you ain't got a tent on you. So try and get used to doing that if you can. Because it will help you hunting that. And not only that, it's just in case you fall. And you, it, it does uh, pee you off if you have to run an extra 20 minutes. And you was just there. And if you had a tent and put it down, you wouldn't have to do all that again. So it's a, it's a good practice to get used to uh, doing. We're going to be doing like lots of videos on uh, Quattro Kalinas uh, over the weekend. I'm absolutely knackered, <laughs> I must say. Uh, for the first day of filming, I didn't have no sleep at all. I haven't been asleep. And then <laughs> I had a little today and I'm just catching up now. I've been posting pictures across all social media. So if you want to see some stunning shots uh, and animal close-ups, uh, jump on the Hunter Facebook groups, um, Twitter, follow me on that. And I'm like I say, I'm posting loads of uh, pictures, pictures of animals and uh, the scenery and different things people want to see. If you want to see something special or interesting or something specific, drop it in the comments and I'll try and do it for you. I don't mind giving people pictures if you want to use them. Uh, just say, oh, hey, you got a picture of that. And if you, if I have, or if I can take one, I'll take one for you. Uh, and you can just have it. I don't mind. Okay, let's have a competition, shall we? What should we give away? DLC or the game? Um, we're going to give away a base game of Call of Wild on PC. Now, uh, I can't give away codes for console games because they have to be out or you have to generate the code and you can't physically do that um, with console games so it's PC only for this competition sorry about that uh, Expansive Worlds will be doing competitions on the release date uh, and after for Call of Wild so just check out their social media and streams on the 10th of December but for this competition for this video it's one copy of the base game of Call of the Wild and the question is going to be what is the score of the next animal I'm going to get? So whoever drops that in the comments first, no editing comment comments. I noticed someone did that before in the, in the other video. No editing comments. Um, it's got to be that answer, right? So if I see edited in your post, nope, that doesn't count. <laughs> um, it's the first answer in the comments one copy of Call of Wild base game and it's what is the score of my next animal so we're on top of this big quarry looking around and you can see for miles this is long shot heaven you're definitely gonna get some really long shots off here uh, Kalina Rota I don't know what that means in uh, Spanish but that's where we are 
Got a beautiful lake on my right, which we are going to check out once we've claimed this outlook post over here. But as I was saying, I'm going to put a tent down. It's just going to start to rain. I hope it's not a torrential uh, rainfall because when that comes down, you can hardly see anything and it makes hunting a lot harder. All right, what we've got over here. We've got lots of mouflon tracks. I don't know if they can actually climb cliffs. Um, I, I suppose they can. That's what they're up here for. But uh, are they as good as Ibex? Uh, any people who are uh, knowledgeable in this subject, real life, can the mouflon climb up steep uh, cliffs like the Ibex? Or are they just on top of them and around them? Can they actually climb the ledges like the Ibex can? Everyone knows Ibex are really good climbers and can jump up rocks and all sorts. But can the mouflon sheep uh, do the same? drop that in the comments I would like to know about that uh, some people um, say oh this is how you should say this about the ibex cycle I was looking at yesterday on Facebook someone was telling me about uh, I say the Bisati ibex because that's how I think I should pronounce it someone said it's the B setter ibex if that's right drop it in the comments I'm just going on what people tell me and then uh, look up and try and find out if it's right or not I will claim that the rain is pouring down <laughs> So what we're going to do is, we're going to put a tent down here. That's just opened up a potential new uh, outpost, which we will collect and we'll, we'll uh, make our way down there. I do like to go to the lakes especially, because water is a key hunting point uh, to find animals at the right time. The need zones, uh, the water is the easiest way of finding animals. And a lot of people do hunt these places uh, to get all your target species. I'm hoping to find wolves at the pond on our right. Um, I have found tracks going sort of that way, so I'm hoping there is wolves over there. But there is the Bisati Ibex, as I would say it. Someone say it's the Bisetta Ibex. If that's right, I don't know, but I'm, gonna, I'm going with it for now. And I'll check it up later. Right. Let's get to an ATV. And we're going to try this little trick. Instead of walking down to the lake, we're going to ramp off the quarry top. <laughs> Have some fun. I think um, there is a trick, and I think it does work, that the ATVs always land on the wheels uh, when you ramp off stuff. The only problem with that, in theory, is what happens um, when you get catapulted off. Them. Now, anyone who's ever done this knows what happens. You die. But you often go flying like Superman for a very long way uh, when you get catapulted off. Them. So, here it goes try and drop down here without killing myself it's going to save me about 10 minutes of walking I don't think you want to see me walking around for another 10 minutes Whee! <laughs> nice little trick jump that we've stuck from here so let's, should we try and flip it backwards or something here we go <laughs> trick run trick rider run from the quad bike right for my next trick we're going to ramp off here and not die here we go Whee! Like I say, if you do this on uh, Yukon Valley on the railway bridge, it's brilliant for that. You can do it and you can do a couple of somersaults, land off your feet. But here is the quarry. This is one of the reasons I wanted to come down this way as well. Just to show you how high and big it is. So you get a, a scale of uh, enormity and the height. And the so it's really good how they've done this. Is there a lot of these in Spain? Uh, these quarries like this. It's interesting how they've done it. Like I say, that's why... You know, like the farmhouses and stuff, this is where the rock will come from to build them from places like this. Alright, so we've come down to this pond and I have found Iberian wolf tracks. So we know they're around it, we haven't found a need zone yet or what time they're here, but we have found tracks. Now as I was coming down the hill, I did see some European hares moving about. So I've got the shotgun on and we're going to blast some uh, rabbits, <laughs> hares even. But we're going to blast some there uh, because we haven't hunted those properly yet. So we're going to shoot some. And this is where we are. This is where the wolf tracks were. It is 1.30. And this is what you want to do. Experiment. So we'll look. Drinking. European here. 11 till 2.30. That's quite heavy. 6 kilo. That is a big. That will make plenty of rabbit pies and uh, rabbit stews. That is very nice. If you've never had rabbit stew, it is really nice. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the European hares are here. That's the need zone. We're going to travel all around the edge. Now, the thing with rabbits and uh, hares and stuff in the Hunter Call of the Wild is they're quite easy to hunt. 
they do run off and but they stay in the area so you can be uh, quite reckless when you're hunting them i'd just grab a shotgun and run round, and then you just listen for the feet beating uh, like warning you or if you see the ears pop up and a blast with the right uh, shot uh, steel bird shot something like that and uh, they're goners basically <laughs> they don't last long but they're fun to hunt though great little uh, cash resource it's good to have a good selection of animals on a reserve because sometimes you just fancy hunting something else if you just hunted the same species all the time they would get boring even if it's your most favorite one and there we go all right that's the first one we spotted is there any other ones i wonder if there's rare variations of the european hare i bet there is there's another rabbits i don't know what a diamond one will be i think it'll be a three like uh, the other rabbit species but what we're going to do is we're just going to run over and just shotgun these <laughs> just on our uh, way looking for wolves i'm hoping there is wolves around here because it just might be the wrong time of day in this area we do know the tracks are here what's that a besetta ibex uh yep road is another drinking zone so another need zone so there's plenty of need zones drinking zones all around here it's water isn't it so it's going to be uh makes sense and that's one of the reasons i want to come down here it did look a nice place and it makes sense with it being near the quarry that you would check it out so it's good game design and good uh location to hunt what are you looking at look he's just looking through that tree like with his all his body's covered but his head's popping out you know what let's see if we can shoot him in the head he's shuffling about a bit is he spooked a bit no we can get close than that look he's gonna get a severe headache in a minute you read it <laughs> surprised it don't blow him back about 10 feet where is it <laughs> I <think he> destroyed it <laughs> blew it to pieces right there we go and there is the first animal I've just uh, got so remember that for the competition so it's a male and it's a one I do love this shotgun it's a beautiful shotgun the engraving and the marking on it is really nice when I do find the wolves I've got the seven millimeter as well so that is normally my go-to wolf gun the seven mil um, so I'm gonna try the 6.5 I'm gonna try short range and long range and then I'm gonna try the seven millimeter and just see which I prefer because you do need to find out which guns you want to use in Coral Wild when you're generally hunting and most people will get a rounded setup of what they want to use drinking 11 till 230 uh, yeah the, the most people do get um, a nice select setup that they'll use on most reserves obviously you change things out and you can change things whenever you want to if you've got a tent you can just plonk it down swap over stuff but normally most people will have uh, a bow and two guns or two guns a pistol something like that that what they always use uh, mine's normally a mosin uh, what else mosin seven millimeter and a 338 for most reserves sometimes i'll swap that out for bows or a crossbow hello <laughs> Um, what is your favourite loadout? Drop that in the comments. I would like to hear about it. What's your favourite shotgun? There's quite a few different shotguns. What is your favourite shotgun and for what reason? Now we've got wolves going that way. So they definitely come down to the water here, drink, and then they're off. They're either going up the mountain or they're going round the pond that we're at. That's a female, 3.47 kilo. You can right click on the rabbits when you get them in that and it shows you the pellet structure of how you've hit them as well which is good they added that recently uh, didn't used to be in the game but now you can see more detail where all the pellets hit the body which is a nice addition just repeat again that tuesday the 10th of december is when this is getting released so Quattro Kalinas comes out on the 10th of December, all platforms. Make sure you all remember that. <laughs> I think most of you already know that anyway. But uh, if you haven't seen any of my other videos on Ibex, uh, Basiti, Basetta, Ibex, um, there is some other Ibex species we need to find, and I think they're on the other hills um, in the preserve, which we're going to open up soon. But look at all these rabbits at the minute. 
Come here. Bang. Oh, we're a bit late on that one. We got the other one. Come here, yeah. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. I do like it. Hares are fast as well, aren't they? They can run really fast. If you've got any lurchers or any dogs that go for them, you'll know that. Because they go like uh, like rockets to try and catch him. And sometimes the, even the really fast dogs like the lurchers, greyhounds, struggle to catch him. That's how fast they are. I don't know if it's the light, but that looks a little blue for some reason. All right. I don't think we got the other one. We'll shoot a few more. Like I say, it's not really challenging, but it's just fun. And I'm just showing you because, like I say, we've not really done anything on the European hare. And it is a new species. Hey, <laughs> if it was on the rock or the bush. Oh, yeah, there's loads of it. Look, another four or five. A few zipping about. I'm just seeing if there's any uh, big ones. I'm hoping for a level three. But we're not that lucky, I don't think. Or any rare variations. The missions I'm not going to do until the actual game comes out fully because I don't want to ruin the story so we're going to keep on that one. But we need to do it to get the Rayo 6.5 uh, special version which you need to do from unlocking the missions, that's the reward. So I can't wait to get that because it's absolutely stunning, it's the best looking uh, Matteson uh, 6.5 gun out of the three variations. So we've got another female. So we've shot enough European hares and we moved down towards where the unlocked, or I should say where we're seen where the next outpost is. And we've got loads of wild boars. And we found a rest zone, they've all gone to sleep in front of me, which is really odd. There's quite a few of them, I'm just seeing if there's any decent ones. I don't think there is, I think they're all small ones. But we'll just have a look around, because you never know, it could be a rare one, it could be a diamond one. Oh, they're getting back up now. <laughs> they weren't that tired, was there? If it's a decent one, I might shoot it. There's quite a few of them. A lot of people like uh, wild boar hunting, especially, and the ibex and the mouflon. I think for the Spanish people and this reserve, they had to be in it. Uh, these three uh, species, especially. Um, <laughs> right, someone's got to get shot now. You're not getting away with that lying down in front of me. We could leave them, but uh, sorry, that's happening. So it's Eeny, which one should we pick? Meeny, miny, mo. Catch a piggy by his toe. When he's done, we'll shoot that one. <laughs> he was unlucky, wasn't he? <laughs> but he's, he's going to be dead. One of those is going to fall down. Which one was it? It is the prize of death. <laughs> he's down. He shouldn't have lied down in front of me. That's not my fault. <laughs> Right, let's run over and collect it. So I've really enjoyed this video, it's been great fun. Uh, next video, like I say, keep a look at, so I'm making lots of videos on Quattro Kalinas over the weekend, and um, I'm gonna be hunting for wolves next. That's my uh, plan anyway, be showing you those. So keep an eye out for that. I want to get you uh, some good footage, some close-up footage, uh, attacks. Look at that. <laughs> That's one reason as well though, it's hard to hit animals when they're lying down asleep so I would ideally spook them or wake them up before shooting them because a lot of the time you don't hit where you think you should um, when when they're lying down some people might sh not shoot them like that anyway either for the sport sporting reason uh, would you shoot an animal if it's lying down asleep or would you leave it uh, drop that in the comments but some people won't shoot them when they're lying down I think it just depends on the situation. I was doing that for a bit of fun, a bit of entertainment. So here we've got lots of sunflowers. Um, I did see in a comment early on Facebook that someone said that the sunflowers must be facing the sun, that's how it works. <laughs> it did make me chuckle. Um, it might be correct, but I just uh, found it a little uh, funnier for some reason. Uh, lots of fields of lavender, that's where we've got to be. That's where we're going to. Where should we go to next? Now, there's a few lakes, so we go down to the lakes. I might hunt, you know the pond we've just been at? I might start on the quarry on the next video and go around there and just try different times of the day to find the wolves because they obviously come to that lake at some point and I know there's uh, other ibex that visit there. We've also got to find the other kinds of ibex like the Greedos ibex, the Ronda ibex and the southern uh, eastern southeastern ibex along with the iberian wolves so we've got quite a few species to find yet uh, red deer i don't know where they are on, on the spanish reserve either so quite a lot to uh, seek and 
destroy. <laughs> no, seek and find. We're after the trophies and having fun. Here's the lavender. I never knew there was so much lavender in Spain. So, quite interesting to learn that. But from the pictures I've seen of Spanish uh, reserves, uh, places in real life like this, uh, Spanish places, they have nailed a lot of this. It's really good. Right, let's go and collect this, and uh, Ron's going to get some sleep. <laughs> Edit this, uh, go to sleep, and then uh, get back up and get some more videos done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That's another outpost unlocked. The map is starting to open up, and we're finding great places to hunt. I hope you enjoyed the video. We've been hunting on Quattro Kalinas, the brand new DLC reserve for the Hunter Call of Wild. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, so my bed's there in front of me, and I'll be jumping on it any second. Get ready to watch the next video after this one, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.